After a long night at sea, the fishermen of Sri Lanka are landing their catch. Fishermen like them are the only ones who still encounter, from time to time, an extremely rare and mysterious animal, the dugong. This marine mammal is around three meters long, weighs about 400 kilos, and has an average lifespan of 70 years. Dugongs only eat seagrass, so people call them sea cows. They used to thrive in the shallow waters with abundant seagrass of northern Sri Lanka. But now they have all but disappeared due to destructive fishing practices like the use of explosives or harmful types of nets. They lay um, large gill nets across the seagrass, which are about two kilometers long, uh, are a serious threat. And most of the dugongs that are killed are caught in these nets. And we are getting about one, on average, one dugong per month being caught within this area uh, during this period. And for the last year, we have three records of mothers and calves being caught. So that means the population is breeding. Still, it's viable, it's, it's breeding. But we don't know the exact numbers that is involved and where they are. Prasanna and his team of marine biologists from the Ocean Resources Conservation Association are tasked with finding the last Sri Lankan dugongs in an effort to bring the species back from the brink of extinction. We will use the sonar to try and locate the seagrass beds. To save the dugongs, the researchers must learn as much as they can about their favorite habitat and food, seagrasses. So then what we do is, uh, we just use the grab to check the bottom. Uh, you get you get samples of whatever is at the bottom. Now we know that there is a growth in the bottom. So we can uh, go in and check it. The team will uh, get into the water with scuba and uh, deploy a survey, including a uh, so quadrant sampling for the uh, substrates and uh, general biodiversity, record all the biodiversity and other data on the seagrass. Seagrasses are not seaweeds. They are flowering plants adapted to live in shallow seas. They are essential for many species, but occupy only 0.2% of the world's oceans. The team also deploys a drone, hoping to spot dugongs, like they have done in other countries where these images were recorded. The dugongs' range extends far beyond Sri Lanka. They inhabit coastal and island waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, from East Africa to Vanuatu. But the dugong population has declined so severely in most of its range that it has been on the world's red list of threatened species for years. And in Sri Lanka, researchers haven't encountered a single living dugong in decades. Prasanna and his team's research is part of a large global effort to save the dugongs. UN Environment is collaborating with the Sri Lankan government and other local and international partners to protect the dugong and its habitat. The dugong and uh, seagrass conservation project basically has the objective to increase the, the knowledge in the eight targeted countries with regards to the, the dugong threats, the opportunities to do something about it towards better conservation. The project is the first coordinated global effort to conserve dugongs and their seagrass habitats. Many fishermen depend on the, the fishery, nursery and production functions of the seagrass beds, while the dugong is also depending on it. So it's a win-win situation if we can conserve the seagrass beds. Our vision is to conserve those special or important particular uh, the species and the ecosystem through community involvement with the conservation and also, in the meantime, they get benefited.
they have benefited to get tourism and the, uh, the sustainable fisheries. The dugong and seagrass conservation project raises awareness of the negative impact of destructive fishing on the dugong, the seagrass and fishermen's livelihoods as well as of the importance of using environmentally friendly nets. In exchange for the adoption of the new environmentally friendly nets, fishermen families were given alternative means to generate income. A sewing workshop was created where women were trained and now produce garments, earning a salary. Fishermen families were also provided with finance to install fish pens. By diversifying their income sources, fishermen families don't need to rely on the over-exploitation of their fisheries and can help protect the seagrasses so the dugong can return to Sri Lanka's waters.